Earlier today, Haiti's President Jovenel Moise was assassinated in his private home. His wife also wounded in that attack, but her condition's unknown. The escalation of the unrest now impacting mission groups, including some that operate out of Siouxland. KCAU 9 reporter Jason Toctasian explains how local mission groups are reacting to today's news, all in our top story at 10. Tim and Sophie, the 53-year-old leader's assassination has mission groups in Siouxland concerned about the future and how they're able to carry out the charitable work. Megan Lickness and her family run Touch of Hope Ministry out of Rock Rapids. The primary role of Touch of Hope is to support a school in our small community called Simonette. Um, and it, we also have an orphanage and then Rosie's Boutique, which we employ women through. She says the Haitian president's assassination is a sign of the current political unrest worsening. It is a huge shock and it's a huge devastation, but it seems to just be the tipping point of what has been happening in Haiti over the past two years. And it's impacted the regular mission trips. The group used to spend half the year on the island doing charitable work, but now... It's just not safe. There's been a lot of violence with the gangs and all of that that has been going on. But because of our Haitian leaders, our main ministry with our school and everything has still been going on. Um, we just haven't been able to travel back and forth like we normally do. Members of Mission Haiti commenting further on the current situation in the island nation. The roads are too unsafe to travel. Um, there is a lot of kidnapping and bandits and um, trouble along the road. So it is people put up roadblocks. It's unsafe for us to travel throughout the country. So a lot of missions have started flying um, remotely from little regional airports to little regional airports. Our main concern is just that our people in Haiti are safe. People um, are living in fear right now. Um, they spoke to many in Haiti this morning and they just said everyone is silent. No one's going to their jobs. No one's going going to their schools. Lickness told me that Touch of Hope started 10 years ago and the missions provide education to around 1,000 students. They say the missions hope to continue its work again soon. Jason Taktajian, KCAU 9 News.